Hello, this is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com, and I'm making a video here for Ramesh. And a good question. He said, hey, could you periodically show some of your big winners over the last 10 to 15 years? And I said, yeah, I could, I could pull some of those out. And I, I said, well, I've got a grid right here with a bunch of them. So I'm going to share this with you right here. I'm going to slide this over and just show you. This is from my good buddy, Kenny. He did this research. We worked on some of this together. This is from 2007 follow through day. And I will tell you this, I owned, I owned a good portion of these. And, I'm, and by the way, I'm not bragging. It just, there weren't as many opportunities. Okay. The market was a lot different than it is today, but we, this was a, this one of the biggest winners I've ever had in my lifetime was dry ships. But these were those, a lot of these that we did. So I'm going to pull these up and just take a look at them for you here. Okay. We'll just do a couple. How's this down? This is going all the way back from the 2007 follow through day. All righty. So here we go. Here's Mosaic. And I'll advance it a little bit for us, okay? September 2007 follow through day. It was a follow day right in here in 2007, okay? And these things took off. There's a longer base here. There's a downward slope and trend line bouncing off the 50 day and lifting. Got a little loose here, okay? But this was just a beautiful trend. Let me tell you, this is what we're looking for. There's Mosaic. I think Pot SS Sketch one is gone now. Somebody picked it up. POT is gone, but I think CF is still around. There you go, CF Industries, 2007. Here we go. You can just see some of these simple patterns. You got a base right here, got a cup and a handle, and it lifted off. Went up, went sideways, goes up again, lifts off through here, then it started to get loose. But there was tremendous money in this one right there. Here's another one for you. This is all from 2007. Google. Gapped up on earnings. Pulls down right here. Look at this clean and simple downward slope and trend line. Lifting off the 20 day and marching on up. There's Google. That gives you an idea. Here was one. Again, this is all just from 2007. Baidu, gaps up on earnings, okay, goes sideways. There's a lift right there. Picked it up there. Ran it up, comes down to the 50 day, sold some into strength, but the baby kept walking on the 50 day, okay. Started to get a little looser in here, and I, we took this off in here, all right. This last part here we missed, got too loose, and then it rolled over. By the way, I could show you where this, where things get really strange bad on some of these. This was a great one. Boy, was this a good one right here. First solar. First solar. We had that in here on a downward slope and trend line, lifting off. Then it started to do this. We took some off, got out. But then this nice long base right in here coming through 60, that was good too. That was good too. First solar. Sun power, watch this, birds of a feather, all in the same group. Sun power, grinding on up nicely. Here's another one for you, Jazzo. Is Jazzo still around? Jazzo, that was a lower priced one. I didn't do that one. And here, oops, yeah, that's gone now too, okay? Some of these stocks have been bought up. Here's Apple. Apple had a shelf right in here, had another shelf right here. You can say, well, that's not much. Hey, that's 30 points in a week. There you go. There's Apple. I did not do intuitive surgical, but we're going to take a look at it, okay? I was trading too thin. Too thin and too expensive. No, I didn't do anything with that. Vimple. Oh, Vimple's gone. MBT. Did MBT, MBT did that one get taken out too? Hang on. Nice steady grind back here in 2007. A little slower though, a little slower. Let's see here, MICC, is that one still a good? Nope, that one's been bought out also. Then of course, this was the big one. This was the career. They changed the date on me, so we go back. I've shown this one a couple of times. 
we're going we're gonna to advance this for you. There you go. I'll back it up for you a bit. This was awesome. Right in here. Right in here. Pull back. Right in here. Train our eyes. A base. And it lifts off on a pickup in volume. Goes up. Starts doing this pattern. Lifts off right here on a pickup in volume off the 50 day. Clean and simple downward slope and trend line. Rallies up. Pulls down to the 20 day on decreasing volume. Lifts off the 20 day. Right I just want to put the cursor on there. Look at that volume spike that day. Look at, look at this day right here. Look at that volume spike. You got that little uh, boom off to the races. What does it do, folks? That sucker walks right up the eight period exponential moving average. That's, that's a game changer. That, my friends, is a game changer. Let's see if EXM is still in, in business here. Nope, that one's gone. I think TBSI is gone. That one's gone. DSX, I think DSX. Is that still around? That one's still here. Diana Shipping was another good one in 2008. Look at this. Oh, I remember that. I mean, Dry Ships is going. Oh, I even have a note on it. For, look at this. This is a note from... <laughs> there's a note from back in 2007. Holy Toledo. Anyway, that's one thing I love about Market Smith. But that's a nice gain right here. 30 to 45, 15 points. Now, I'm not going to say you're going to get that top, okay? But, hey, you're not going on close to 50% in four weeks? Look at it walk up the A period. Is that beautiful? That's what we're looking for. And then Research in Motion, which is gone, I do believe. I don't think they're around anymore. Yeah, they're gone. They're a different company. I think they're BlackBerry. I didn't even come up there. Anyway, that's just some of them. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. Periodically, I'll grab some and I'll show them. But I'm glad you brought it up. Remember, this, I hope this helps you. Just train our eyes on what to look for. These companies that, by the way, let's cut to the chase. I just showed you a bunch of charts. Here you go, folks. These stocks right here we went through, this was the earnings before they broke out. Not after, before they broke out. Look at the numbers. What's the lowest number on that list, folks? 43%. Now you know why I talk about minimum earnings growth of 40% or higher. There was a career in some of these stocks. So anyway, I hope that helps you and I hope you like it. And I thank you.